Hi everybody, welcome to two tips for dating in an awkward culture these days. Have you noticed that people are much more awkward when they're interacting out in public? Like I've noticed even at the grocery stores, people aren't smiling the same way they used to. They're not engaging in random conversation as they did. So it's like, it oh, can be hard to remember how to interact with people, especially when you're in the dating world and you're trying to maybe flirt with somebody or you see someone you're attracted to and you're not really quite sure how to interact and engage. In fact, I know a lot of counselors who are talking about this phenomenon that all their younger clients are coming in who are trying to date are having a really hard time interacting with people because of school and of work and all of these things that are going on in their life make it challenging for them to A, have the time and B, the energy, but also the social remembering of how to interact with people that they're attracted to. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. When we're out and about, it's hard to get other people's attention. It's hard to get people to look at you if you're not used to engaging. So have you ever really wanted to catch somebody's attention and not been able to? Have you ever felt even a little bit awkward when you're in a social situation or a little shy about approaching somebody? That's why it's so important now to really start practicing. And I know this seems really odd, but set your intention when you go out to the grocery store, when you go out to the hardware store, when you're walking down the street, just to start engaging with people, like feel how it is just to try to catch somebody's eye and catch their attention and smile or to make a random comment about, it could be something even as trite as the weather, something about what's happening in the environment around you. Get used to just striking up small conversations, no matter how shy you feel, no matter how awkward it is, because what that will do is that will start giving you the confidence and the body memory and the energetic memory of what it's like to just engage with somebody. So that way, when you are attracted to somebody or you're interested in getting somebody's attention, it's something that you've practiced. You've practiced with the guy at the, down the street and you've practiced with some random child who is looking at you in the grocery store and you've practiced with the mom or with the family who is unloading their car and you said hello, right? So you've practiced in all of these different ways and gotten the confidence of, yes, people want to engage. We are still social creatures. So this is gonna build your confidence, build your natural reaction, be easy to engage. And that way also if someone interacts with you, you've developed that social skill muscle. You know how to react and it comes more naturally. Your smile comes up to your eyes. You're ready to meet people where they're at. Another thing you can do is notice when other people are awkward in their conversations and see if you can find ways to pull them in and engage them so they don't feel so awkward, right? When you start creating acceptance and love for other people, that will naturally come to you as well. But even when people are a little bit confident about how to engage with other people, we are so trained as a culture to be self-conscious about our looks. So one of the things that I encourage people to do, if you're worried about how you look, like I'm not gonna get a girl because I look X way, I'm not gonna get a guy because I look X way, I have, I have a trick and a tip for you. First of all, we may be taught in society that all the men want these beautiful, attractive women who dress a certain way and act a certain way and they're X kind of thin and they wear their hair like Y and they've got a certain kind of makeup and all of these things. Or that men have to be strong and athletic and tall and perfect and act a certain way and dress a certain way and they can't be sensitive. God forbid they actually have emotional intelligence or something, right? I want you to break that stereotype for yourself in your brain. And it's a little, it can be a little bit challenging, right? Because it's so deeply enrooted in what we've learned as children and what we observe in media and the movies and all of that. But have you ever been a little self-conscious of your looks and thought, oh, that person wouldn't like me or somebody wouldn't like me because of my nose or my shoulders or I'm too thin or I'm too fat or I'm too whatever, right? We're going to change that for you and your homework assignment. This is why it's so important, as I want you to start observing other couples in public. 
And I don't mean like start observing them where you get yourself all sad and like, oh, I wish I had a relationship and making yourself all down and I can't have that and I'm not good enough, right? That's not the purpose of this exercise. The purpose of this exercise is start noticing other couples and notice that there are people together that are all of all shapes and sizes that don't look all that great perhaps to your eyes. I mean, I know women that are beautiful that love IT geeks because they're intrigued by the brain and they like the thinness and that, that mental capacity and they, they don't care how they look physically. I know men who are attracted to larger women. I know people that are attracted to all different shapes and body sizes, right? Some people like shoulders, some people like butts, some people like the small, the curve of the back, some people like the length of someone's neck. I know a guy who just only likes, it, like he loves women with long hair. It doesn't matter what body size they are, he just loves long hair, right? So everyone's got their type, everyone's got their style. And I want you to start noticing that people out there are happy no matter what they look like, right? They are in partnerships. They are finding connections. So now, next time you hear your brain say, I'm too, or I'm not enough, and therefore I can't have the partner I want, you can stop that and say, no, actually, I know that's not true. There is someone out there that likes me just for who I am, and that's who you want anyway, right? You don't wanna like shape yourself into something you're not, and then all of a sudden you're sitting there and you're with your partner who only likes you when you're dressed up, but you just want a really comfy day on the couch with your pajamas and your partner's gonna be super negative and critical about that. That's not what you want, right? You want someone that's gonna love and appreciate you for exactly how you look, who you are, who you intend to be in the future as well. Like what are your goals, your passions, your motivations? What's your brain like? That's what you want. So start looking for that in dating. And also be open. When I took my Learning to Find Love course so I could help people have more successful relationships, one of the things they said is often people that find their actual true life partner weren't necessarily that physically attracted to them right away. Like out of a like hotness scale of zero to 10, they found them in like a five or a six. But then as they got to know these people, right, they became more and more attracted, right? So it's not that they weren't attracted to them, but that other things were more important than looks. And the physical and emotional attraction grew and grew and grew and became more and more long lasting, right? So people get this idea that they have to be a certain way, but it's so important to be you, dress your style, talk the way that you talk, come authentically. People can pick up when you're inauthentic. So those are my tips for you this week for dating in an awkward culture. Number one, practice and write down in the comments, how have you practiced? Who have you talked to? Who have you looked at, engaged with? How did you get their attention if they were looking down, if they didn't want to pay attention to you and you were really trying to engage? How did you get them to engage with you? And second, let go of the self-consciousness of your looks, man. Do some tapping. Start looking around and noticing that people love people when they're authentic. It creates real connection. So shoot me a couple comments below. I've got some more videos coming. Just remember that no matter who you are, you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable. Until next time.